Now this is a very straightforward question based on the chapter of uh, gravitation. This is a graphical representation of acceleration due to gravity due to the earth. It says that is starting from the center of the earth having radius r. The variation of acceleration due to gravity is shown by. So you see inside the earth the acceleration due to gravity is proportional to small r and outside the surface of the earth it is proportional to 1 by r square. So the most appropriate option is this up to radius r it is linear variation that you can see g proportional to r and outside the surface of the earth it is proportional to 1 by r square. So I am marking answer 2 answer 2 for this straightforward question that is question 11. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 12. Now here in this uh, question 12 which is again based on uh, the chapter gravitation it says that a satellite of mass m is orbiting the earth earth radius r has been given at a height h from its surface altitude h has been given. So the distance of the satellite from the center of the earth will be capital R plus h. The total energy of the satellite in terms of g naught that is acceleration due to gravity at the surface you are supposed to write down the total energy you see total energy has standard expression what is that minus g m m upon twice of r isn't it potential energy is minus g m m by r and total energy is like this so this is a standard relation now instead of a small r you have to write down capital r plus h you understand and for capital g m you can use the standard relation g naught r square g naught is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth. So these are the substitutions you have to make. So that way it will become minus small m this uh, g naught r square you understand upon twice of capital R plus h this is the expression you have to search in this answer. You can see here option number 2 is uh, giving the same expression minus m g naught r square upon twice of r plus h. So I am marking answer 2 for this uh, question number 12 understand. Now let us uh, switch over to next question that is question 13. Now this uh, question 13 is uh, based on surface tension. Here uh, they are saying a rectangular film of liquid is extended from 4 cm into 2 cm. This is the initial area of the film has been given to 5 cm into 4 cm. Also mind you that uh, this film will have two valid surfaces. So the area has to be multiplied by 2 effectively. So if the work done is 3 into 10 power minus 4 joule the value of surface tension of the liquid is. So you have to use here the uh, formula this work done is equal to surface tension multiplied by change in surface area. This is what you have to use understand. So this uh, work done has been given 3 into 10 power minus 4 and surface tension is to be calculated. As I said effectively you have to take 2 surface area so 2 multiplied by the final surface area is 20 centimeter square. So 20 into you can say 10 power minus 4 and initial uh, surface area has been given to be 8 centimeter square. So 8 into 10 power minus 4 this is what you have to do the calculation. So if you do the calculation the surface tension will come out to be 0 0.125 Newton per meter. So I will be choosing answer 2 for this because this is saying 0.125 Newton per meter and answer 2 will be the correct answer for this question 13. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 14. Now this uh, question 14 is once again based on uh, the concept of surface tension and capillary rise. It says that 3 liquids of densities rho 1, rho 2, rho 3 and their relations uh, is uh, given rho 1, rho 2, rho 3 in serial order rho 1 is largest having the same value of surface tension T rise to same height in the 3 identical capillaries. Identical capillaries means the radius will be same. The angles of contact obey the relation. So on the basis of density relation you have to find out the relation of angle of contact. So I am directly using the formula for capillary rise I know that it is 2s cos theta upon rho 
G R. This is what I am having. Now here they are saying that uh, the uh, surface tension is same, height is same and radius is same. And also remember that since it is a question of rise that means the angle of contact will be lesser than 90. So in all these options I have to look for options in which angles are given lesser than 90. And it is very much clear that cos theta by rho will become constant. Cos theta by rho this is given to you constant. No, now the value of rho if it is large then cos theta should also be large and theta should be less because it is a reverse thing. If angle is large cos theta value is small you understand. So if rho 1 is largest that means theta 1 will be minimum and it should be less than pi by 2 also. So the only option you can see here is this one second option theta 1 lesser than theta 2 lesser than theta 2 theta and theta 3 and in between 0 to pi by 2. So the correct option I will be having that is answer 2. So I am marking answer 2 for uh, this uh, question number 14 you understand. Now let us switch over to question number 15.